Swede Hansen, who is really making a reputation for himself thus far in the World Wrestling Federation. Also scheduled to compete will be, regardless of what happens later on here this week on television, the Valiant Brothers. And uh, the Valiant Brothers will be meeting perhaps the tag team champions at that time, or perhaps they'll still have the title in any event. It will be a tag team championship match on this date in Baltimore, with the Valiant Brothers meeting Tito Santana and Ivan Putski, regardless, again, of what happens later on this week. In addition to that, ladies and gentlemen, Bob Backlund set to defend the World Wrestling Federation title once again in a special return match against the number one contender, Pat Patterson. We'll have a further word on that match in just a moment, but now our guest is Jerry Valiant. Mr. Valiant? Mr. McMahon, you keep standing here saying regardless of this, regardless of that, I want to tell you people in Baltimore, you are looking at the Valiant brother, one of the Valiant brothers, my brother John will be there alongside with me, and we are going to show you people in Baltimore who is the champions, who will be the champions, regardless what you may say. You keep saying maybe this, maybe that. Well, I want to assure you people out there, you are looking at one half of the world tag team champions, and I am going to remain the world tag team champion one half. Anything else you'd like to ask me? We There's no more may I's or maybes. We are. So an emphatic response from uh, gentleman Jerry Valiant. Coming into view now, the World Wrestling Federation title holder, Bob Backlund. And Bob, that was some match with Pat Patterson, unquestionably a, a brawl, a Donny Brook, but, uh, and Bob Backlund laid out coal on the canvas. Yes, it was, Vince. Uh, I was out like uh, I never had, I've never been knocked out before. Of course, I've never been hit by brass knuckles before in the ring either. And, uh, um, I thank my manager for coming up on the apron and uh, taking care of Pat Patterson like he did. And because he did that, uh, he he's going to be barred from the from the coming down by the ringside. Well, I don't need Pat, I don't need Arnold Scullin to beat you, Pat Patterson. And you're going to be searched by the commission right down by ringside before you get into the ring, because you need your brass knuckles to beat me. I didn't need Arnold Scullin up on the ring. You were a beaten man without your brass knuckles, Pat Patterson. Let's find out just what you can do. Bob Backlin on the looking forward to the special return match that has been signed for Baltimore. And of course, uh, for the benefit of uh, those of you who were not there, what happened was that uh, I think most would agree that Bob Backlin uh, was carrying the match uh, uh, much to his favor almost all the way through. Pat Patterson apparently resorting to using uh, the brass knucks after the referee was knocked down. Patterson blasted Bob Backlund with uh, what appeared to be uh, brass knuckles from there. Backlund out cold and then the manager of Bob Backlund could not stand idly by and see Bob Backlund defeated in this manner. Stepped into the squared circle and interfered indeed preventing Bob Backlund from being pinned perhaps by Pat Patterson. So with uh, that bit of background our guest now is Pat Patterson. Well let me tell you one little thing. You're very good at declaring you're very good at telling the truth about one thing. That Bob, the manager of Bob Backlund hit me over the head with a steel bell. And I'll tell you one thing. I did not have a pair of brass knocks. I knocked him out because of my fist. Backlund, I knocked you out, and I didn't use no foreign object. And now, the next time I step in a ring with you, they're telling me that I'm going to be searched. Well, nobody is going to search me. I am the Intercontinental Champion, and nobody is going to put their dirty hands on me. And your manager is going to be barred. And if he shows up his little ugly face around the ring, I will personally take care of him. Now, he doesn't belong there. I've had you beat. As far as I'm concerned, I should be the new world's champion. That is absolutely true. And you, Bob Backlund, you're the one that's going to be searched. In panic, you begged your manager to come in and help you. You are the champion, Backlund, the champion liar of the entire universe. And now you're going to be defeated by the Intercontinental Champion. This time, it's going to be our kind of match. You're the one that uses brass knuckles. This man has the skill, the knowledge, and the savvy. And you will be beaten because it's our kind of a match. You're the one that's the culprit, not Pat Patterson. Before I go, I'd like to say one thing. The last time that I was in Baltimore, it was my first time in that city, and I was not much impressed at all. Huh. We shall return in a moment with more wrestling. 